This is nice. So the the speech like quality they were getting superb. But this is really where I find it to be very interesting. She is going up and it's very, very delicate. <laughs> So to get up that gently, to get up higher like that, is actually quite difficult. Um, because the, I think the way that people get there at first is they blow a lot of air. And when you blow a lot of air, your fold... So these are the vocal folds, right? Now, to do falsetto, you need to kind of stiffen these. And you need to do it very, very light. You can do falsetto by blowing air, and then these these uh, folds will just open like that, and they won't be able to adduct, uh, and which means to come together. But the problem with that is that you end up having. So let's take a look at the uh, the waveforms. Uh, this is going to be what we're paying attention to right up here. So we go boosh record so that takes a lot more energy that takes a lot more it takes gentle air but you have to you have to kind of not have lazy posture there and when she does it it's very natural when i do it i have to like be mindful and pay attention and stuff like that right she's doing it like she's tying her shoe um the this gives you control and the ability to control falsetto. This, or, or mixed voice, this is what it sounds like and, and, and looks like when you blow things open. <laughs> not quite like, uh, this is because I'm trying to, I, I have a bad habit. Well, I don't, it's not a bad habit. I tilt my folds, but you can just see like, there's no control here, none. Um, even if you are not like struggling to keep your folds apart, where is this? Oops. Oop. There we go. No. There we go. Wrong screen. There we go. Even if you're struggling, not struggling to keep your folds apart, you're gonna have all kinds of stuff happen, and that's the problem with using just way too much air to blow things open. There's just no control. Um, and you won't, specifically, you won't be able to adduct and go into powerful notes. That's what this is. So what I'm trying to do there is, is I'm trying to tilt my thyroid cartilage. So this is the thyroid cartilage right here. When this tilts downward like that, you'll end up with folds that are super stretched thin, like really stretched thin because it's point, right? So here's the arytenoids. These are the retinoid cartilage, right? The front here, you could basically say this is the uh, thyroid cartilage, right? So if it tilts, it tilts on a diagonal plane, which stretches out the vocal folds. If you do, if you try and do that when you're blowing too much air open, you will get what this is. You will understand this. This is what will happen. You're trying to keep your folds together, but there's too much air and you can't. So you can't go to powerful from this and so that's really key let's take a look at how she goes from super super soft and quiet to immense i, don't I love this you can't you can't. <laughs> this is not something i think if you're not a native french speaker i think this is a bad idea to try um the language here it's interesting when 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 i generally see a lot of Lara fabian what we're what i see from her is you know what everyone loves is the big powerful notes right that's what people want to see but that's not what we're getting here we're getting power from the conviction from her use of the language like she's in it and and that's that's more important than anything. She's delivering an emotional performance because she's speaking a truth, right? It's it's not hacting, it's acting, right? It's really, really. So 
so there's some interesting things to, to cover with mic technique. Um, let's see here. Right, her getting up close. Listen to how everything changes when I get really up close like that, right? Let's, uh, there are a couple of effects here. We won't spend too much time on them. But So this is me getting right up close to the microphone. This is what the proximity effect sounds like, right? So if I go here and I go here and I keep talking at the same level, but I get really up close to the microphone, you're going to see that that's way louder, right? So not only, uh, the way that a spectrogram works is that the, oh, there we go. Uh, this is the frequencies, right? This is time and the brightness denotes how loud a frequency is. So you can just see right here that it gets pretty bright by the end. And if you had any doubts, the waveform here is also bigger, which denotes volume, right? So by doing this, now most people would do it, it, it the, the thing I see often is people use it, they get up close to the mic to uh, compensate for like, they don't have a low end, right? Like at a certain point, a singer is just gonna run out of low notes, especially, but what we see from Laura Fabian here is we see uh, she's using it to almost whisper into the microphone. She's being very intimate. It's like someone getting, like, whispering in your ear. She's gonna, she continues that, right? She continues that idea. Oops. Yeah. She continues that idea by moving her head when she goes louder. So what happens when we tilt Oh, got to get rid of that red mark. What happens when we tilt either the uh, the thyroid cartilage or the cricoid cartilage is that things get significantly louder, right? Oops. So this is the cricoid. If this tilts up, the folds go from like super thin to super fat and short. Super lots of air pressure builds up superly underneath these super fat folds. Super. When we tilt the thyroid cartilage, we stretch out the folds from here to this. In both cases, more air pressure builds up. So to compensate for that, to get the tone quality that she wants, but also to compensate for the volume, she uses mic technique, which is pretty dope. This last note is so power, like, emotionally, it's so powerful. And what she does here is actually something I highly recommend if you ever have to hold a super long note. She's going to change her vowels. Watch this. The reason why that's really important to point out is that high notes are alive. You don't hit, as a singer, you don't hit a note. This isn't a piano, right? You don't hit the note. You constantly have to be creating that note. A great way to train that is to try and kind of morph the vowels a little bit. It changes the tone. It make it like it gives it a journey, right? Uh, the the queen of this is uh, Rochelle Farrell. I just she's so good. You should you should watch her. But back to Laura Fabian. This high note is not that high relative to what she can do, right? Um, but man, chutzpah, right? The feels, the guts. The length of the note is difficult, uh, but not super difficult. Um, it's just more like, the, the difficult, the super hard thing about doing this kind of performance, and she actually does some really smart things with her body to kind of compensate. These, these movements that she does, whether or not they're intentional, helps keep her relaxed. If you're going to go, like, the art of feeling feelings is not how you do this. You need to feel feelings. Listen, if you're emotionally constipated, you're going to need a laxative if you're going to be a good artist. But 
you also need to be able to experience these huge, ginormous feelings, but also be super relaxed, have your posture be really good. I mean, try bawling your eyes out and doing it with excellent posture. So all of these little things that she's doing matter. That little, that little thing right here, traps. Okay, let's talk about So this arm swing that she was doing is actually really, really, really important. So the traps, this muscle right here, there's actually an insertion to the bottom of the larynx. There's a small little muscle. So if the traps are tight, specifically also if the lats are tight, this is going to affect your shoulder blades, your so if this here is, is down and back, you're pulling on this insertion right here. And that has a lot of, the biggest one is that you're gonna put a lot of pressure on the lungs, okay? The lungs don't have structure of their own, they don't. So what happens is, is that the tighter these muscles, the more resistant the inhale is think of like a really tight balloon right so the balloon is very very difficult when you first start to blow in into it right it, it's very tight and it resists expansion but more importantly this tension here means that the second you stop inhaling to expand this tension this muscle tension puts a lot of pressure right back on the lungs and so it's like letting a balloon go right you're just going and it just flies away from you right that's kind of what happens you don't have so all of these incredibly soft notes to the powerful notes these transitions are not possible this is the hardest part about the performance like this it's easy er it's still hard <laughs> but it's easier if you're not emotionally invested the second you get emotionally invested, like, look at me as I talk about singing super passionately. Oh, yeah. I won't be able to sing like this. That's never going to happen. That's why I'm not Laura Fabian among other reasons. But the, the point I'm trying to make here is that she's, her athleticism is high, high, high level. She's basically crying. And like, like, it's like, oh, do you need some, do you need some Prozac to get through the performance? No. No, she doesn't. I think that more than anything else speaks to, well, I, I think like anybody, right? Like this, this hits and I'm, this is this is actually, I think, my favorite performance that I've seen from her. Um, it's beautiful. And again, the hardest thing to pull off here are not the notes. Like, to be loose when your heart is aching and to not fight that, that's really, really hard. So this is this.